Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to day 24. I have my son Derek with me today. He wants to work out with us. So um, so anyway, let's get started. So we're going to use weights today. We can use a couple of different um, size weights if you want or stick to the same one. It doesn't matter. I'll go through first and show you what we're going to do, then we'll do it. So first we're going to use, get a weight, okay, and we're going to do lunges. So we're going to lunge out and then you're going to twist to each side. Okay, let me turn to the side so I can show you. You lunge and twist, okay? When you do your lunge, make sure your knee does not go over your toes. Stay down like this, okay? And then we're gonna stand back up and we're gonna lunge again. And we're gonna twist and stand back up. Okay, we're gonna do that a few times. We're gonna do that um, eight on each side. Then we're going to do standing with the, um, hold on one second, bud, watch out. Okay, we're gonna get on our knees. You're gonna lean as far back as you can, and then twist. Lean up, lean far back and twist. Okay, and then we are going to, um, oh, just learned this one today. Pinterest, gotta love Pinterest, okay? You put, and they were doing it with a medicine ball, but I don't see why we can't use a weight. So you put it straight up in the air, and you do a small circle above you, okay? The key is to keep your core really tight, and the bigger your circle is on the top, the more you're gonna feel it. So we're gonna go 10 in each direction, okay? But you will definitely feel that in your abs. And then we're gonna do shoulder press, um, I'm going to have two weights when I do this, but I'll just show you with one right now because that's all I have. So we're going to lift up, and then crunch down to our knees. Crunch down. Then that's working your obliques as well as your shoulders. Alrighty. You ready to get started? So we're going to do the, um, the lunges first. Eight on each side. Let's go. One, that's two. After you lunge to each, or after you twist to each side, kind of do a tiny little dip to give yourself a, a boost off the ground. Six, I thought that was like four. <laughs> Maybe I can't count. That's five. Six. Two more. Ooh, I almost fell over. Don't put your knee all the way down. Okay, other side. Let's go. Is it burning? Yeah. No, you do the other side, dude. You're supposed to be doing your opposite leg. <laughs> oh, you've been doing your opposites. It's four. Here's five. And eight. Okay, and now we are going to do, so we get on our knees. You can get on your knees, you can do it behind me if you want to add. Okay, so we're gonna, um, how many of these are we doing? I have down 15, let's see. Two, three. This is killer in your legs too. Your 
feeling it in your stomach more? Five. I can't go back as far as you. Six. He's showing off. Seven. Kids are more flexible. Eight. Nine. Ten. So when we lean back, let's stay back for the last five. One, two, three, four, five. Lost my assistant for a minute there. Okay, now we're going to do um, the small circles in the air. Okay? Let's do um, clockwise first. Eight of them, or ten of them. You try and, the key is to keep your torso from moving. Keep it still. It's eight, nine, ten. Other direction. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then we're going to do, um, Okay, we did this. Let me grab another weight. Hold on. Do you have your other weight, dude? Okay. Shoulder presses. Ready? We're going to go up. And then, cr oh, wait. Sorry, I messed up. We're going to go up. Crunch. Up. Crunch. Up. Crunch. It's four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Rest for a second. Put your weights down if you need to. <laughs> and then let's do the other side. You guys ready? Ten on the other side. One. Two. I'm hitting the couch. Three. Can you hold it here? Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. My arms are a failure. Nine. Ten. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright. Last thing we're going to do. Okay? And I'm not even going to do the whole thing with you. Well, first of all, push, stop, and restart and do this all again. Okay? And then at the end, I've got a little extra challenge for you. Okay? I want you to do the ABCs with your weight. Okay? So you do an A, a B, C, D, you get in the gist of it, the key is to stand with your legs shoulder width apart. I'll come a little bit closer. Shoulder width apart. Keep your core super, super tight and don't be moving all that around. Just move your arms. Where did we leave off on? So then you would do an E. And then you would do an F. Okay, not making sense? So Try doing that all the way through, and that's just like another little bonus that you guys can do any time. Just pick up some weights and do that. That's really going to work your core and your arms too. All right? I hope you guys enjoyed today's workout, and I will see you tomorrow.